Hey everybody. Hey everybody, this is Justin Roner from agriscaping.com. So we have a bonus Green Thumb Thursday today. I'm out here at the village at North Glen. This is a beautiful neighborhood that's just starting up. These are some of the early houses behind me. You can see there's a lot of new houses being built, but this has a special unique feature where we've got edibles integrated into the landscape. We've been here at Agriscaping, we've been helping them integrate the edibles. We got over 100 fruit trees throughout the development in the common areas. And we have these wonderful beauties right here behind me. These are artichokes. And a lot of people misunderstand how to best harvest an artichoke if they love artichoke hearts. So I'm gonna teach you a couple little tricks. It's like most of the time you go to the restaurants, you go to the grocery stores, you're gonna end up buying them about this size or even smaller than that. And it's gonna take you about 50 artichoke hearts, artichokes in order to get enough artichoke heart to make a nice artichoke dip. Now, if you're a little more patient, you get a wonderful surprise. Number one, the first surprise you get is this amazing, beautiful purple flower. You can see the bees that it's attracting right there in the middle there. Beautiful flowers that these things create and in abundance, you can see here's another cluster of artichokes that we've got. I mean, these guys, the center one has started to bloom. The outer ones are gonna be blooming soon. A bouquet of flowers right in your own garden and they're edible. So come on downtown, let me, let's me let show you guys what, what the difference is when you harvest a lot later. So again, normally you're getting those little guys. And so here's a good example of, of a little guy. We've cut it in half. You can see the choke, that's what the, this whole upper part is. And then at the very base, you can see this skinny little part, that's the heart. And that part is what you typically are using to make your artichoke heart dips out of. Either that or you're peeling the leaves off and you're eating them with some butter. Now, a little bit bigger, this is more the size that you get at the grocery store, but this one had bloomed already and you can see the artichoke heart on that. Look how much bigger. So let's hold up those two. Let's compare the little artichoke hearts. The one we were just holding, there we go, Talon, good. So you can see the difference on the size of that artichoke heart. So we've got almost 10 times more artichoke heart when we wait a little bit and let it bloom. Now just imagine how much artichoke heart is inside of this big daddy. And that one has bloomed out and it started to turn yellow at the top. That's when we know it's like all the, the pollinating petal parts that are in the center part. Those things have kind of gone away and we've gotten a little more yellow. That's my favorite time to harvest because I literally have a pound, maybe even two pounds worth of just straight heart at the center of this thing. So we cut them in half long ways this way. I'll roast them in a pan. I'll put a little bit of olive oil on it and then we'll literally put them face down in a pan, put them into the oven and let them cook. And then once they've cooked out, then I've got that nice artichoke heart right in the middle. It's nice and soft and pithy and, well, not pithy, it's, it's soft and smooth. It's like buttery. It's amazing. So there's my little tip of the day for your artichokes and how to get a lot of artichoke hearts if you want a nice artichoke heart dip. There's Talon. Say hello. Hello. So come on down here to the village at North Glen. It's by Mac Construction. Wonderful little development. If you're looking for a home that's going to have an awesome garden that's going throughout the neighborhood, as well as your own front yard or backyard if you'd like, check them out. Again, it's the village at North Glen by Mac Construction. M-A-K Construction. Check them out. See you later. Ciao.